our philosophies are, are, are brought to the table by expressing it. You know, if we don't talk about it, sometimes we don't really know. We've got something kind of floating around in our head. Woodbridge is a residential community. It, it's uh, adjacent to Wayne State. Uh, it, it's, it's close to uh, the Cass Corridor. It, it's a uh, historical neighborhood. The houses were built primarily in the 19th century. They're, they're, they, they've, been, they, they've seen some very interesting times, uh, prosperous times, and you know the, the decline. There have been abandoned houses that have been resurrected. That's why I love this, you know, the, the community is because uh, it's, it's uh, something that can be embraced, it, it, an expression of uh, the possibilities of, of uh, the bigger city itself. Detroit, you know, is uh, a very menacing place, or it can be. It's, it's been ruined. It's been, uh, it's been neglected. It's been exploited. It's been stepped on, walked over, burned. The people still come here. There, there's something about Detroit's proximity to the water, I think, and uh, that gives it like a lot of promise because of the water, because of its access, you know, to, to water and uh, where the water can take you. There, there, there's a an amazing, profound love that people have for Detroit. It, it's. Uh, it, it's kind of like uh, the historical expression of uh, artistic expression. You know, confronted with repression, privation, all these kind of things, you, you'll find artists, thinkers, poets, you know, emerging. I, I've met uh, a lot of amazing uh, individuals who uh, are also electricians, carpenters, roofers, brick masons. I, I've known poets who uh, Pour cement. I've known sculptors who, who are carpenters. I, I've known, you know, uh, painters who did uh, house painting. You know, it, it's uh, the trades are uh, a place where people use their hands and their heart and their mind. You know, it, it's it's a combination of a lot of different elements. My particular uh, artistic realm is, you could say, is uh, poetry and music and writing. I think uh, the Rick's, Rick's craft, his trade, uh, his work life contributes a great deal to his music um, because he's doing creative work. He's creating things. You know, he's a carpenter, a builder. You know, so he is making something with his hands and with his with his mind. You know, you've got to measure. What do they say? Measure twice, cut once. You know, and so uh, that informs his songwriting by virtue of, uh, uh, it's just another creative aspect of what he's doing. Be people that, that have a certain type of art or, 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 or something in their soul that needs to be expressed, they're going to do it one way or another. And um, Rick is just blessed enough to, to uh, have the talent to do it publicly and, and also to be surrounded by people and, and have a talented uh, group of sons and a talented group of friends that are, are willing to play with him. You know, I think, uh, all of us want to express what's inside of us. You know, even if we're not artistically inclined, there's something in everybody that wants to be let out uh, to by, by way of self-expression. So I, I think that's what, uh, what he's about. Jim and Wow is composed of uh, Rick Emerson on vocals. Uh, he's the, the main writer. We all kind of add to what he brings to the table. Um, his son Chris on lead guitar, his son Danny on keyboards, and Michael Fagenti on drums, and then myself on bass. This is like why so many creative people end up doing this kind of stuff is because they need it to stay alive, to, to stay, to stay informed, to, to stay healthy. You know, you have to feel some kind of connection to what you're doing. 
I think, to, to, uh, to maintain your sanity. Uh, I think Rick is very passionate about, about his beliefs. And I think that uh, uh, performing allows him to, to express that passion uh, musically and, and, uh, and lyrically. Uh, and, and, and in a way that, um, that neither by themselves would perhaps fulfill. You know, lyrically, it might not satisfy because it, it's, it's, I don't want to say merely poetry, but it would be poetry without the music. And musically, it wouldn't have the impact that it does with the lyrics. So. It's something uh, that you need to be a human being. You know, you need to experience this. You need to experience uh, imagination, intuition, inspiration. These are spiritual connections that you have to, uh, to know about. <laughs>